Welcome to the Clean Truth, what we like to call bullshit on the status quo. What is up? Welcome to another episode of the Clean Truth. I'm Don. I'm your host. Back for the second time in a row is this one sitting right next to me. After the last podcast, I'm surprised I'm still here. You threatened to kick me out of the room. We'll, we'll see how you're doing in about 10 <laughs> minutes. All right. Like we mentioned on the, on the last episode of the Clean Truth, look out for the We Change Lives Challenge 2020. That starts January 1st. Check out our Instagram, Clean Eats Life, for some little teasers that we've been putting out. I'm pretty pumped for this year. We changed it up a little bit. I'm not going to give any details. I'm going to make it a little secret. You don't, you don't share my enthusiasm <laughs> with this. I do. No, I, I have a totally... Mine's different than yours. I'm excited for different reasons. So, Cool. Today's episode, the pros and cons of training at home. This is going to be a good one. This is a good one. You know, if you if if you follow me and Yvonne on Instagram, it's no secret we have a a, a decent home gym. Who am I kidding? We've got a badass home gym at home. <laughs> you know, the guys at Sorenex are really good friends of ours, and they customized a rack, clean each rack for us. A lot of people have seen this on social media, but um, you know, I get asked all the time, why do I not go to the gym? you know, and do arms or, you know, some other workouts. Why do I not go to the gym once in a while? And it's quite frankly, it's because I don't have time. That's the number one reason, but I don't have to. I have everything that we need at the house and the lifestyle we live. It, it just fits me. So I don't, I don't have to go train at a gym, but you know, I think there's pros and cons to people training at home if you have the capability to do so. So that's what we're going to talk about. I know you, you can go either way on this one because for different reasons. Um, a lot of the advantages I can think of right off the top of my head, I can think of four really quick ones. It's convenience. Training at home is very convenient, especially for busy moms, business professionals. It's just quick. It's right there. And, that, and that's the number one reason why I do it. So that's why I said that one first. Yeah. If you are home, you know, I mean, you train in the morning. I usually get home late. I'm not a real early morning trainer. I don't like it. I like to have my free time in the morning. So yeah, convenience is a big one. Plus it's open 24 hours. So that's good. True. True that. Uh, the second one is it's affordable. Can be. Um, I mean, you don't have to be an asshole like I did and go. Yeah, I was going to say, unless you're Don Verity <laughs> and you buy, not say anything bad for an ex, but you know, I, I haven't seen the final bill on this. Well, listen, their stuff is expensive. It is, but it's American made. And you can basically hit it with a Mack truck and it ain't going nowhere. So, yeah. And it's just cool as fuck. So, but for everybody else out there that doesn't want to be like me, it, training at home is affordable. You don't need much. No. You can go get everything you need at Walmart. I mean, if you get some bands and kettlebells, you can be innovative. You know, Ben's in the other room and he doesn't have UNCW Strength Gym anymore, but he's been slowly over time acquiring some different things to put out in his. Um, garage out back and and we go there to train just as much as we train at the house we train there this morning i think people underestimate body weight exercises too definitely i actually it's funny you said that i was joking around with ben and john this morning and we were doing it was back day well one of the things that that ben doesn't have is cables so there's no way to do like lap pulls or anything like that but he's got the trx bands mounted to his ceiling and we were doing like trx rows well, I told him the last time that him and I did those, my back hurt for a fucking week, yeah. literally. Those are very underest under underestimated. Um, Me and Barclay trained uh, last Discovery Day when they came down and just did body weight squats, push ups, and set ups, and like did nothing. And I was sore for two, you know, two days after that too. So it, it really doesn't take much, guys. I mean, you know. Another little joke that we were making this morning was Ben went out to Home Depot the other day and bought all of these like little garage hooks. And, you know, he was like, hey, man, because uh, I've been thinking about buying a, a barbell holder because right now I got six barbells in the garage. that are leaned up in the corner. I've been trying to get them up off the floor and everything else. And he was like, why don't you just go buy six of these little hooks? They're fucking 50 cents at Home Depot. And I'm like, oh, that's a pretty genius idea. And then I started following this. uh page on instagram it was called garage gym reviews or something like that and that's all they do is they showcase guys as garage gyms there's some innovative motherfuckers out there they do some pretty cool shit with just two by fours it cracks me up 
So that, that's just proving my point that it's very affordable to train at home. Yeah. You don't need much. You don't have to go out and buy thousands and thousands of dollars worth of exercise equipment. Um, number three is it's private. It's, it's comfortable and it's private. And then some people may have special needs. So like if you're handicapped or if you have a handicap or a disability, you know, it's easier to train at home. Then you don't have to get in the car and do, do a bunch of extra work to go to a gym to train. You know, unless, unless that's helping you, you know what I mean? But privacy was, was the biggest point I was trying to make there. And you can train half nude. You can. <laughs> I may or may not have done that a few times. Verity doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> I like to train barefooted. One I'm of these days bare- you're going to come down there and I'm going to be deadlifting with no pants on. I know. Just, it's just going to be butt crack. That's not nice. They're good sight. Uh, move on. Mm. Well, that's a perfect segue into my number, my last one on my advantage list is that you can get nasty and nobody cares. You can train without a shirt on. My mind went other places. Sorry. Go ahead. We don't train together very often anymore, so go for it. Mm. (laughs) I'm in. When are we doing this, lady? I'm just saying, mood strikes, no one's around, 24 hour, you're good. There you go. Yeah. Nasty. I was saying getting nasty, like you can go flick boogers out in the driveway, you can spit wherever you want. Like That's just a dude, man. No one else does that. Females don't do that. Hmm. Those thinking. are some of the advantages I could think of when I was when I was thinking about this episode and, and some advantages of training at home. Like I said, I, I get asked this all the time, like, what do I got to do to have a home gym or, or should I train at home? Are there advantages to it? And there's pros and cons, and those are four good ones for that are advantages of training at home I could think of. Now we'll talk about the negatives, and I actually have more listed. Um, Is the first one that you don't have a someone cleaning up the nastiness? <laughs> <laughs> No, but I can add that. <laughs> no one there to wipe down the benches. <laughs> we have, you know, we have a dog who pees in the garage sometimes, and I pee out of the garage sometimes. <sighs> I, mean, I don't need to know all this. We have a fenced-in backyard. Nobody can see me. I can just open up the back door and let it fly. Works out kind of good, actually. Yeah, okay. That's why the yard's turning yellow. All right, getting serious. One of the negatives, I think, to train at home is you don't have any inspiration. None. There's no people around you. And no one's there watching you if you don't complete your set. Right. Yeah. No one knows that you didn't change weights and added a little bit more. I mean, quite frankly, in my younger days, that's what kind of motivated me to train was seeing guys bigger than me training in the gym. Yeah. So there's, there's not really any uh, inspiration. Number two is you're not very sociable. There's nobody to talk to. <laughs> I mean, unless you've got buddies that are coming over to train with you like I do. True. Yeah. Which sometimes that's good. Sometimes it is good. Get in, get out, to that. be there's, serious. There's a pro and con to that one right there. But yeah, time. I think uh, I need to start leaving my phone upstairs. That's, I'm really bad about that. You're terrible. I'll get on Instagram in between sets. Next thing you know, I've been resting for two and a half minutes. Yeah. Or emails or phone calls or what have you. Um, next one is it's easy to procrastinate. It's easy to come home and go, all right, I'm home from work. It's four o'clock. I'm going to have dinner chill out, and then go work out. 5.30 rolls around, your ass is still on the couch, and you just say, piss on it. I ain't going. I still do that. A lot. <laughs> I know somebody <laughs> sitting here that does it more than I do. I've had an excuse. I don't have to. I like uh, like my gym here at work. I don't. I like to train during the day. I'm a 1 o'clock person. I like it because I usually with work... I'm getting burned out and then I can have my lunch. I can train and then finish my day off with like a a little bit of, I feel like I build aggression up during my morning hours. You? What? Aggression? Uh Huh? I'm being sarcastic. No, I just feel like it's a good uh, time for me to release, you know, thoughts and uh, clear your head and, Kind of get some stuff out. And then I I feel like if I do one o'clock workouts here at the office that I can go home or, you know, I, I work a little bit later. And then when I go home, it's it's just off your plate. I don't have to worry about sitting on the couch like you do and not train. Wow. Was that bad? Am I getting was, kicked off the podcast hip- again? Yeah, sure getting kicked off. <laughs> All right. Well, 
let's talk about consistency then, sister, because, Mrs., I like to train in the middle of the day. How many times do you actually fucking train at 1 o'clock in the afternoon? You just had surgery, so I get it. The last okay, three weeks, so you haven't been able to do it. But before that, it was like, oh, on Tuesday I'll do it, but then Thursday, Friday, Saturday rolls around, you don't do it until Monday. Well, that's not true because we I was consistent at our old warehouse where the gym is inside, and then I moved down to this other warehouse to to run this part, and we didn't have a gym here, which is not no big deal. So I guess I made the Peloton just got here like a week before my surgery, so I didn't even have time to train. So Peloton rocks, by the way. I love Peloton. So we got the Peloton treadmill in here, and. It's, I got to train on it three days before my surgery. And so just you, right. the, you're throwing like me it, underneath I'll the bus. And I, we were talking about procrastination. So I'm yeah. just letting it eat. All right. Next on my list is sometimes you have a tendency not to train as hard because there is no competition. You have no inspiration. Unless like Peloton people are yelling at you. It's a good point. I like the Peloton. I know it's here, but then I can compete with people on the side. So, I can like try to pass like to up do donuts, you know, 89 or whatever. I can't stand seeing a guy who's like in his 50s it, when it says Beat male me. 50s and then his <laughs> output is like five points higher than mine. It drives me fucking crazy. I got to beat him. I know. So, see, I think that's good. I like that. I like being a little bit. So, I feel like Peloton brings the competition if you're on there. The next one we talked about a minute ago that I have a big problem with, and this is probably my biggest hindrance when I train at home, is you get distracted easily. I think people have to, you know, that's going to be easy if you have kids, dogs, a business, a phone, anything. It's just really easy to get distracted training at home, so. I know. I mean, it's like, we're especially if it's in the garage, like I'm always either picking it up, taking the trash out, sweeping it. Sometimes I mow the grass in between, like, you know, so yeah. it's At our house? Yeah. Bitch, you haven't cut our grass one fucking time. I didn't say me, technically. I said you. Like, I saw you go in and, like, get the the mower ready because you're going to, like, mow the grass in between your sets. <laughs> you were saying that you've never done that? Like, you won't go over there and, like, see if the battery on the lawnmower is, like, thing, oh, plug yeah, it in, yeah, get the yeah, lawnmower no, no, no. ready. I, didn't I say, thought you were saying you specifically. No, not me. I'm usually taking the trash out or breaking down the, the recycle thing or... I hear you. Something. I got you. No, I meant you. I, I don't mow the grass. The last thing on my list is your limited access to equipment, which, like I stated in the beginning of the podcast, you don't need much, but, you know, it depends on your fitness level. You have a limited access to equipment in your garage. I mean, it's hard to put a leg sled in your garage. I've seen thousands of people do it, but not everybody has that capability. They're expensive. And, yeah. you know, some of the advantages to going to gyms and using machines is you have access to that equipment. So that that would be the biggest one on my list. And for me, I'm the asshole that doesn't care. I mean, my gym equipment, we've made jokes before, like other guys, you know, they have other hobbies. They'll go do this, that, or the other thing and spend money in the other areas. Mine, I buy exercise equipment. And then sit on the couch and procrastinate and eat chili cow. What? Huh? <laughs> I'm still 220 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal, and I have abs, sort of. I might have chubby cheeks, but I'm not in bad shape. I didn't say you're in bad shape. I'm just saying the the other five things that are on your list or whatever. What else you got to add to training at home? You got any tips? No. You know, the biggest thing I've had uh, to deal with, I've always had that mentality that you just go in and kill it every single time. And I'm just not there, you know. I mean, I want to do the fitness. I want to look good naked, you know. But I don't go in there with that whole kill, kill, kill workout attitude. And you know what? You don't need it. Like, I found out that if I could just get at least 25 minutes of a workout in, I'm usually sore the next day. So I've been kind of going through like a mind, I don't know I guess we're cussing on here, but like a mind fuck of the, like, I don't go in there with that, you know, um, attitude and you don't have to, you can still get a good workout in not having the whole attitude of kill behind it. You know, I agree with that. You're going down a different rabbit hole, but yeah, I agree with you. Um, and it's, then, kind of, it's hard to do that. That goes back to the no inspiration thing. You don't really have any inspiration. And I think accountability too. Right. Accountability is a big one. Yeah. 
you know, luckily I have Ben sitting in the other room who's a psycho with accountability. I mean, the, the kid doesn't understand that more is not better, but another another podcast, another time. But I think that's it. I mean, I can't think of, I'm sure we'll think of stuff when we get off here, but yeah, those are the big ones. All right. Well, I hope that helped, and I hope that give you a little bit of insight on whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea to train at home. I think my answer to you would be if you have the capability and the means to do it, do it. If you try it and you don't like it, then gym memberships these days are 9 bucks a month. But it is, it's an affordable, convenient way to do it. Um, it's private, and you can kind of do it at your own pace, your own way. So that would be my recommendation. As long as you do it. Just do it. Yeah, you have to do it. <laughs> All right, guys, till next time. Well, there you have it. That's our two cents, and that's our clean truth. For more information on Clean Eats, visit www.cleaneats.com. To find Yvonne and I on social media, on Instagram, I'm Don underscore Verity, V-A-R-A-D-Y. To find Yvonne, it's just Yvonne Verity, all lowercase. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.